According to the Vermont Department of Health, there were 710 known cases of Lyme disease in the state last year. That's almost double what were reported eight years ago. Tick bites are also known to cause other serious diseases, such as anaplasmosis. Outbreaks of this disease are showing an alarming increase, according to health officials. Anaplasmosis often requires hospital treatment. Symptoms are usually flu-like with joint aches. The cure is a course of strong antibiotics. So what's being done about these ticks? Well, for one thing, scientists are trying to get a better picture of where the ticks are in Vermont and what areas are the most infected. Alan Graham is Vermont's state entomologist. He has studied ticks for many years. Diseases. Last year, we attempted to survey seven counties for tick-borne diseases and submitted close to 660 ticks for testing for three tick-borne pathogens. We don't know why it's been expanding throughout its range. Uh, it was uh, detected in New England and it's been able to move northwest and beginning to move south. The tick is also present in the southern part of the United States, but it does not seem to have been as invasive as the one up here in New England. It certainly carries Lyme disease, which is, has been on the increase um, throughout the eastern, northeastern part of the United States. Uh, we also know that it carries uh, another disease called anaplasmosis. And uh, in southern areas, it also carries a babibiosis, which is another tick-borne disease. Most of the ticks that we survey in, throughout Vermont, most of them tend to be black-legged or deer ticks. Um, we occasionally see dog ticks up here, but those generally show up a little bit later in June. The highest risk of exposure in Vermont for Lyme disease is the spring, summer and fall. The highest tick infestations are in July, according to Graham. He says if you find a tick on your body or see a bullseye, it's time to see the doctor. Graham says you can protect yourself with sprays and special clothing. Gator, gators that go around your legs, zipped up in the back if they're treated with permethrin. Um, those are a really good thing to have for hikers, uh, people working in the woods. Um, they're easy to take off. Um, you don't need to launder them. And the material um, sprayed on there should probably last the entire season. Um, here is an example of a permethrin that can be used for treating clothing. But again, you want to look to make sure that it, it um, has ticks written on the label. Ticks written on the label is what you want to look for. You can also buy treated clothing. Um, L.L. Bean, other places sell one. Here's one um, made by Insect Shield. Um, and they treat this clothing and send it right to you. Um, you can also send them clothing and they'll treat the clothing and send it back to you. You can get further information about ticks and their growing threat on vpr.net and on the state's Department of Health website. Just Google ticks in Vermont or New England because Vermont is not the only state that is affected.